it. There are some very basic competencies that you need to know in Microsoft Office Word to satisfy the graduation requirements for middle school before you go to the high school. These competencies, personal productivity competency one, formats letters, research papers, laboratory reports, newsletters, etc. And in those you need to know how to indent a paragraph, both by using the tab and also how to do a designated auto indent. You need to know how to insert page numbers automatically to employ different alignments such as left align, centered align, right align, to use automatic bullet or numbering features, which you'll find up here. And also, uh, when you are creating a uh, desktop publishing document, such as a newsletter, uh, you need to know how to create and work in columns. You need to know how to insert and manipulate tables to use font effects for emphasis, such as bold, italic, size, underline, and also to manipulate graphics, clip art, or photos so that the text flows around the object and will also be aware of other uh, text wrap options as well. In addition, we are going to set up margins and we're going to talk about choosing a style in a word processing document. The first thing I want you to make sure that you do is that you have your ruler on. If you look at the scroll bar and you look at the little icon on the top of the scroll bar. This turns the ruler off and it also turns it back on. So to get started we're going to go to the Microsoft button, go to File New, open a new blank document. I'd like you to save this document to your own folder as your last name Myth News. I will do a file save as and I have a special uh, folder on my desktop. You will use your network folder. Uh, but mine's called Microsoft Word Video Tutorial, and I'm just going to call this Stanley, which is my last name, Myth News. And I'm going to click Save. Now, make sure my ruler is on. The first thing I'm going to do before I do anything else is go to Page Layout. I'm going to go to margins and you'll notice that the default margin is one inch all the way around. I am going to click on narrow margins which will give me a half an inch all the way around so that I'll have more room in this one page newsletter. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go over to page number since it's only a one page newsletter. Uh, I am going to have us go to the bottom of the page and then choose plain number two so that the number will show up in the middle at the bottom. Now notice it's in the footer. I can either double click back into the document to get out of the footer or the easiest thing is to go up to the toolbar and click the little X for close header and footer. Puts you back at the top of your document. And now I'm going to go back to the home tab and address the style. The normal style for Microsoft Office 2007 puts extra space in before and after your paragraphs when you hit enter. Since this can become very awkward and puts extra space in that you don't want, we are going to choose the older default which is no spacing and then we're going to go save again. That is this for the first part of the tutorial. So what we have done is we've looked at the competencies and we know that every single one of these competencies will be covered in the design of the newsletter. We have gone to page layout, we have fixed our margins, we've added at the insert menu a page number and we've made sure our rulers were on and we have also in our new document Notice that this one is on the normal. In our new document, we have fixed it to no spacing.